Hello, my name is Frida Heck and I'm with the International Chemical Secretariat, CHEMSEC. I would like to talk to you about DROS, a directive now going through a revision and therefore on the agenda of EU legislators. ROS is short for Restrictions of Hazardous Substances in Electrical and Electronic Equipment. The original ROS entered into force in 2006, restricting the use of four heavy metals in two groups of brominated flame retardants. This was an important step, but electronic products still contain many hazardous chemicals. Brominated flame retardants and PVC plastic are a special concern in electronics. We are convinced that it's necessary and economically feasible to restrict all brominated flame retardants and PVC from being used in electronics. Now, why are we convinced about this? Well, first of all, decades of sound science have proved that brominated flame retardants are particularly likely to be persistent, bioaccumulative, and some are also toxic. Both brominated flame retardants and PVC have the ability to generate some of the most toxic compounds in existence, dioxins and furans. These chemicals can cause severe health problems, for example, cancer, endocrine disruption, but also birth defects. In the next film, I will look more deeply into the problems of brominated flame retardants and PVC. Secondly, in compliance with the existing ROS directive, industry has undergone an important transition. The six restricted substances have been phased out through substitution to safer chemicals, new technologies or new design. This has also led to improved chemicals management within the electronic sector. A number of electronic companies have taken this process one step further and started to phase out brominated flame retardants and PVC. Many companies are already offering a wide range of products without those chemicals and that plastic. In our third film, I will show you how large part of industry have already replaced brominated flame retardants and PVC without losing market share. Now thirdly, is it possible to replace brominated flame retardants and PVC? Well, the answer to that question is yes. Many of the alternatives have better environmental properties and have been thoroughly assessed. Many are also produced in Europe by European companies, which is an extra benefit. Now due to all these facts, we recommend EU legislators to introduce restrictions on all brominated flame retardants and PVC in the recast of the ROS Directive. Don't miss our two upcoming films. I will see you then.